Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 23 career mode. Hope you're well, thank you very much for joining me today. In today's episode we face, could be one of our potential new rivals, Birmingham City in the Carabao Cup. And then we face Sheffield United in the league and we've come to the end of September as well. But before we jump into what happened since we last met, make sure you click that like button. We're looking for 10 likes again in this episode, we can get that, that would be fantastic. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that little web subscription button and ring the notification bell to be notified when a new video does go live. Right, cup time. Let's concentrate on beating Birmingham again. And we do have a slightly new formation we're going to try out for the first time in this game against Birmingham. If it works, we might keep it for uh, Sheffield United game. So since we last met at the end of August, we have played three games off screen, a one-all draw against Huddersfield, a three-all draw against Millwall, and then we got our asses handed to us by Bolton, losing 3-1. But so far, September, we have yet to pick up a win. It's been difficult. The league table does look like this. Bournemouth are sitting top of the table on 21 points. Then Burnley on 20. Bristol City are up there on 19 points. Swansea are on 18 points, sitting in fourth. Then we have Fulham are uh, sitting in fifth place on 17 points. We are currently taking up the last spot in the playoffs of 16 points, but we've got Norwich, Preston on the same points as us. Then come Watford, Sheffield United, Hull, Bolton, Huddersfield, Birmingham, all on 13 points. Sunderland on 12, Luton on 11, with same as Stoke, QPR on 10 points, Wigan on 10 points, Millwall on 9, Coventry on 6, Cardiff sitting in the relegation zone still on 4 points. Then come Blackburn Rovers on three points and sitting bottom of the league at the moment are Portsmouth. Even after a difficult September, we're still there, thereabouts. These draws have got to turn into wins. We are conceding too many goals. We've conceded 11 so far, which is a little bit too many. But let's jump into the game against Birmingham. They gave us a hell of a game last year. They probably have improved in the summer with some new players. We've slightly improved, but we have tweaked the formation a little bit. I'll go through the formation now as well. So we're now playing a 3-4-3. Three, three. We've got two, three centre-backs still. A diamond midfield, and then we have two wingers and, and one lone striker at the moment. That could all change. We could retrain Gale to be a left winger. We could retrain Sanchez to be a left. We could be, we retrain a couple of players around and see what happens. But first game, Burnham City, Carabao Cup. They're probably going to play a 5-3-2. We'll see. That start of lineup might change. We'll have a look. Nevertheless, let's go to St. Andrews. I think it's St. Andrews. Let's go to St. Andrews and see what we can do. See if we can cause a little cup upset and progress into the round four of the Carabao Cup. Of course, this year there's no Papa John's trophy, so winning silverware is going to be very limited this year. Welcome, everyone, on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of the Carabao Cup. Stuart, your expectations? Well, Derek, players and fans love a cup competition. And although we're a long way away from the final, both teams will be looking to book their place in the next round in the hope of a good run in this tournament. Well, he really is danger personified. But in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, the brace last time out, but no real surprise that we're focusing on him. It was his movement for me, always active, always trying to find that yard of space, and I expect we'll see the same again today. So, to start a lineup for Birmingham, we've got Average in goal, Richardson, Djokovic, Alves, Radu, Longero, Sunjic, Keller, Gardner, Lonelis, and Hogan. I have butchered half of those names, not gonna lie. I have absolutely butchered half of those names. It is a 5 3 2 formation they are playing. I so said we've gone for the 3 4 3. Romero, Wilk, Scholes, Denise, Bustos, Montez, Mendez, Munoz, Lewis, Gale, and Morris up front. Blanco, Valentini, and others are on the bench. Couldn't get there quick enough, basically. But yeah, 3 4 3. It does look wide, but we're not playing them wide. We're playing in the middle. Gale is on goal scoring form. We're kicking from right to left in the orange. Birmingham are in the blue. Let's get underway and see what happens in this Carabao Cup tie. And here come Birmingham on the attack. Well defended by Wilkes. Shoals. Good ball to Montez. For Mendez. Ooh, can he get that between ball? He does. Munoz. Gale. Left foot Gale. Good save by Everidge. He's not gone out though. Bustos as our DM now. Dennis. Oh, got it. Oh, I nearly got the ball through the Gale. It's a good touch from Dennis. 
This time in third. Gale, this time in off the post. It's a great finish. 13 minutes in. Birmingham haven't started. Gale runs to the camera. Happy. Happy, happy. Oh, okay. You're not going to give it a... Are you... There's no one there, Gale. Gale, there's no one there. But good win by Dennis. Gives it to Mendes, who sees Gale. Holds the fender off a little bit. In off the post. Everidge couldn't get the hands to it. A good finish. It's 1-0. 13 minutes in. New formation seems to be working. We are on constant pressure, though. So at some point, we're expecting to be under a lot of... To leave gaps behind. But we're alone. We're adapt to it. 1-0. 13 minutes in. We'll take it. Oh, good tackle. Can you win the second boy? He does. Good. Well done, Gale. Mendes. Got an assist to his name. Montez out to wide. It's Lewis. Gale's in there. Gale. It's two. Two goals early on. Gale with both of them. James Gale's on fire again this season. Was we right to reject a £65 million offer for him? I don't know. But the ball's out wide to Lewis. Gets the cross and Gale's unmarked in the middle. It's a great diving header. Everidge has got no chance. 2-0. 18 minutes played. Can we hope? Well, hope, we're hoping we're going to hold on. We're not going to throw this game away. Let's hope we don't anyway. He look, he's looking smart in his suit. Oh, Fletch. He's smarting himself up a little bit. Shirt and tie next season, I think. We get to the Premier League, give his shirt and tie. Lewis. Oh, oh Gale, sorry. Still Gale. Gets brushed off the ball. And they clear it as far as Mendes. Looking for support. Looking for the run. It's Dennis. Mendes. Mendes. It's a good save by Everidge. Tips it round the post. Goes out for a corner. Mendes to take it. We are sitting comfortably at the moment. Can we get a third? Gales win that. He, oh, I thought he was. I thought he was going to win it. It's coming to Lewis. On his right foot. On his right. Oh, how close was that? Did Everidge save it? It's a great strike from Lewis. It's swerving. It's dipping. It's... Oh, fingertips. Fingertips save. What a save that was. Lewis with a great strike, though. Like right, Morris to whip it in. It's a good ball. Gail get there. He doesn't come back to Lewis again. We go try again. He does. He winds up. That's blocked. And they can't... Shouldn't be able to get the ball clear. Gail. Oh, I thought he wins that. Alves. And here come Birmingham. The player's out wide. Wilkes holds the run. Leaves it off. 2-1 Hogan. Birmingham with the first chance at goal. Score. We were caught out a little bit. They were quick to counter. Romero should do better, really, in my eyes, but can't complain. Oh, Romero, what are you doing, son? Good finish by Hogan. But I'm not convinced. Not convincing, Romero. Let's not convince him. Yet another game we don't keep a clean sheet. 2 1. 40th minute. Let's not concede another. That's Birmingham's first chance as well, really. Montez. Mendez. Gale. Gale giving him space to shoot. Gale! You don't give Gale space to shoot from that distance. James Gale. 3 1. What a strike from that distance. Top corner. Average had no chance in hell. All aboard the Gale train. Got a bit of space. Gets out of his feet. It's a great strike. Oh, it's a great goal. It's an unbelievable goal. Fletch is happy. 3-1. Gale hat-trick. Oh, he was looking for the run of Morris. It was good defending. It's cleared. And that is half time. 3-1. Gale masterpiece in the first half. Three goals from Gale. Well, we're focusing from what on four shots he's as well he's been fantastic he has well, been unbelievable burnham scored with hogan the first and only shot of the game and he's taken his goals really well brilliant so 
You never know what might happen in this second half. Berman have got to come out and try and get an equaliser. Give it 20 minutes and then we'll make some changes as well. But Berman and kick us off for the second half. All to play for for them. They've got nothing to lose now. Our played 3-1 still. Another goal and this game is over. Boris. Munoz. Uh, that's twice now. He's got to come off. He can't. That bloke cannot shoot for crap. Cannot shoot. So game is done. Gale's got to come off for Sanchez. We're big off Morris and on Valentini. Uh, Montez can come off for... Actually, Montez can stay on. Push him on a little bit for Munoz. Munoz can come off for Beck. And Mendez can come off for Crespo. Everyone else, it looks all right. We've got one sub left to make as well. We've just got to rest players because we've got a big game against Sheffield United coming up next. You didn't let bring him down. Dennis is unbelievable. Oh, Sanchez is in. First time. Oh, on his right foot. An average can save. Goes out for another corner. I still think we need that one more goal just to make sure this game is over with. Valentini to whip it in then. Near post. Sanchez wins. He does. Comes off the defender. Another corner. Same again. Valentini to whip it in. He's looking for Sanchez. It's just gone over his head. Dennis. Morris is short. Sanchez. Turns, shoots, saves by Everidge. And the score remains 3 1. We all drop back. We all receive. We'll have that free kick ref when you're ready. A good ball. Oh, I thought it was a good ball then. Sanchez made the run. Good tackle by Lewis. Montez. Montez. It's a good save by Everidge. He's keeping Birmingham in this game. Burnham's coming on for Gardner or Job. He's just moved to Sunderland in real life, so good luck to him. Whipped in this time. Montez! 4 1. John Montez, the Spaniard. Spaniard? Spanish, the Spaniard. He's having a baby. But all, all these young kids are having babies. you got to think half of this team is under the age of 20. Average ain't happy. Well, let's look at this again. It's been coming. The fourth goal has been coming. Good corner in. Montez gets up early. Average could have done better. Could have done better. So apologies, the camera cut out. About <laughs> bloody right. Four ones to score. Twenty minutes to go. Montez with the goal, and we go again. Hopefully, we've got the Gale hat trick. Montez. It's at the back. Beck shoots some resistance. Good save by Everidge. Keeps it 4 1. Oh. Good save. It's a good save in the end. Right. Can we get his corner whipped in? Valentini, can we make it 5? He's gone a bit deeper this time. Sanchez wins that. He doesn't. As far as Dennis gets under control. Back to Valentini. Gets the ball in. It's not a bad ball. Oh, runs through the Everidge. Quarter of an hour left to go. Wilkes looking for Lewis. Gives it Lewis. Sanchez. One, two. Is lovely. We've got anyone in the box. Back, coming in back post is more oh, Valentini, but it's cleared. We've got it still. Third. Sanchez. Oh, <laughs> Sanchez is on the score sheet. He's happy. 5 1. Unbelievable. What a strike. That was from Sanchez. Lays it off on the volley, foot or half volley, and absolutely smashes it past Everidge. Birmingham have been absolutely battered in this game. Absolutely battered. 5 1. Fletch is happy. And we go again. Over the top. Here's Alan uh, Lino. Oh, one way. Free kick. Clear foul play. 30 yards out. Oh, we got to go for it. Cool second. Take it. Deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. Lays up for Wilkes. Wilkes drives and hits Radu straight in the head. Crespo. Crespo from distance. Oh! Just wide from Crespo. Did it take a deflection? No, it didn't. It's not far, far off. Average wouldn't get near it. Long gaga. Oh, he's done me. Chong. 
Shaw's been picked up a bucket. Right Comes with Benham. Good save. And it's a. Oh, 5 2. It's a consolation. Good save on Romero, first of all, but the ball just runs to Lonis. The Birmingham fans don't look too happy with him, mind you. Let's be honest. What's he. You're 5 2 down, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we can good through ball again. in all fairness good save Romero he just runs not sure he Lonis gets there before Scholes empty net wasn't going to miss 5-2 good at all fairness never mind never mind it ain't going to change the score ain't going to change the we're going through the next round Lewis Wilkes we've could, we have controlled this game in all fairness on to Bustos and there is the full time whistle. 5 2 winners. Gail Hattrick, Montez, and Sanchez on the score sheet as well. Five attempts for Gail, three goals. First half, demolition job from James Gale. Birmingham do get himself two goals. Hogan and Lonis. Constellation goals, in all fairness. But we are through into the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. So here we are then at the press conference. He doesn't look very happy. Oh, Fletch, why are you not happy? Surely you got to be. Sensational, did you expect such a commanding win? I didn't. I thought it would be a, a, uh, a lot harder, but a 5-2 would take all day. It would take a 5-2 win all day. New formation, you know, trying to get used to it. Worked well, worked wonders. Did you miss Rodriguez? Lewis came in for Rodriguez, and he had a good game, a fantastic game, Lewis. He might have to keep his spot, actually. Uh, players can find solutions. I'm not going to go away without ready for that. And Gale's hat trick, simply breathtaking. Only thing we can say about that is simply worth taking. Fourth round of the Carabao Cup. I wonder who we get. So in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup, you can see we are facing Nottingham Forest. No date has yet been decided, but we do face Nottingham Forest. Some nice tidy um rounds here. Man out Leeds, Chelsea Derby, Port Vale, Burnley, Newcastle, Brentford, Man City, Palace, Wolves, Middlesbrough, and Spurs shuffled Wednesday. Some decent games in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup but now we concentrate on the Sheffield United game back in the league Sheffield United are currently sitting currently sitting 10th we are sitting sick three points ahead of them they've lost four games and they've conceded more than us and scored less so hopefully we can take our goal scoring form into the Sheffield United game and come back with three points we need three points to get this season really kick-started now otherwise teams above us are going to start walking away and we might drop down the table here we go then. Archers United, Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. Oh, it's going to be ridiculous. So we're going to keep the same starting lineup for the Sheffield United game. Who are playing five at the back as well. 5-3-2 for them. We're in our purple kit. Sheffield United in the white and red kit. The traditional white and red kit at Bramall Lane. It's going to be a tough game. It's not going to be an easy game, I don't think. So here we go then. Welcome to a venue that began its existence as a cricket ground back in 1855. Football's been played here since 1862. Bramall Lane in Sheffield. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the championship. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. Well, in this shape, unless their wing backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. So, Sheffield United's lineup is Cooper in goal. Five out of back with Lowe, Connell, Egan, Norton, Had Davis, and Bogle. Herrera, Hernandez, Neil in midfield. Jibberson and Adem Ademerson. Is that right? I probably butchered that. I keep butchering everyone's names. But they have gone for a 5 3 2. We've got to be wary of the two up front when our defenders are pushing forward. So our starter lineup is Romero, Wilkes, Scholes, Denise at the back, Bustos, Montez, Mendez, Munoz, Lewis, Morris, and in the field, and Gerald up front. Oh, that's a, that's a tongue twister. It does, like I say, it goes out, looks like it's gone out wide, but we're not. We pushed Montez and Mendez into the middle. The only wingers are Morris and Lewis, and it's a tongue twister, basically. An absolute tongue twister. Here we go then, Bramall Lane looking glorious in the game. It's a nice little stadium, old school stadium as well. 
The Sheffield United fans are going to be up for this. First time player now. Sheffield United kick us off, kick it from left to right in their white and red tops, and we go straight for them through the middle. We wear that pace, gets out of the way to Bogle. Player back post. Can Wilkes get there? He does, and clears it, and Mendes can get it under control and bring the ball forward. The referee's given something. It's given handball. Mendes must have controlled it with his arm. It's in a dangerous position. Pereira is over the ball. They've gone to go roll it. He has rolled it. Good strike. Great save by Romero. Diving to his right, pushing it wide. Sheffield United are going to be a different sort of kettle fish than uh, Birmingham were. Corner to Sheffield United then. Looking for the early goal. Are they going to play it short? They do. Bogle. In the middle. Landers, good tackle. Wilkes, can we break now? Morris. Oh, it's a poor pass and we lose it. And then going forward quick. Ball over the top. Can we get there? Dennis, get there. Gives it, controls it, gives it to Scholes. But loses out. Montez loses out. He ain't working up yet in this game. Adelson. Shoots. It's a great save by Romero. Didn't think he was going to shoot from that angle, but he does, Jefferson. Makes Romero work. Thought he was going to control it, but he... <laughs> Off the post or Romero save it? They're both, I think. Putting ourselves under a lot of pressure here. Corner's gone short again. It's clear by Montez. Can he get the second ball? Nandez. Wilkes a tackle. Looking for a penalty. Nothing given. No turn. Shows. Wilkes. Can we clear it this time? We do. Munoz. Oh, look. It was looking for the through ball, but wasn't going to come off. We're under a lot of pressure here from the Sheffield United attack. It's a great ball out wide. Good block, first time. Second shot is saved by Romero, and it's another corner for Sheffield United. Bristos gets his booking. Rightly so, it was a booking. He's a little bit late. Ooh. Corner to Sheffield United. Definitely the better team so far. They're looking to play short again. They are. We've got to hold on and hope we get a break. It's a little weird, weird cross. And Munoz wins it and gives it away. O'Connell. It's a good save by Rara, but we are not woken up yet. We have not woken up at all. We are still thinking it's Wednesday night against Birmingham. Thinking the game's done and busted. Bustos. It's a good tackle. It was a poor touch from Bustos. Adelson's in. Romero comes out. It's a big save. Big save from Romero. Another corner. One on one. Romero comes out, makes himself big. It's a, <laughs> it's a weird ass save in all fairness. <laughs> Nevertheless, the ball does not go in. Sheffield United are going to be kicking themselves to score soon. Can we go away? Keeper comes and claims. Romero goes long, looking for Lewis. Can we keep it on? Handball given. Given for us this time, no? This is good. I was going to say. Mendes. Gale. Oh, can't, can't, um, can't get a shot off. And they bring it. Oh, he's done me. Cuts inside. Bogle. Shows holding him up. It's a good shot. And this time it's in. Pereira, the goal was coming. They got us on the counter. It should have not have been the better team. Been the way better the team. Get it on the counter. Overrun us in midfield. Players not tracking back. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a Good ball in. Good he wasn't going to miss, was he? He didn't. No, never going to miss. Romero's done all he can in this game so far, but was never going to miss. 1 0, Sheffield United. Oh. Second half, we've got to do something. 35 minutes in, Sheffield and I take a deserving lead as well. It's a little bit like we're playing on ice compared to what it was like the other game. Gale, move. Munoz. Gale. 
Good football, Gail! <gasps> oh, it's our first chance at goal. Gail drags it just wide. Got a bit of tiki taka on the edge of the box. Could have maybe. I don't know, maybe keeper work. Keeper was scrambling. Mendes, got to release that ball. We've got to release. We can't run the ball. He's just done two of us with a little turn. And they're in again. It's Nandes. Romero comes out. He's put it wide. Sheffield United should be four or five up easily. We have been absolutely shocking. Shocking. Oh, edge of the box. Tiki Taka stuff. We can't, can't win nothing. And that is half time. And we deserve to be losing. We, do, we haven't done nothing. We haven't done nothing. It feels like the players are playing on ice. Whoever with the goal for Sheffield United, one nil, and they deserve to be more more than one nil up. And then with that second half, here we come. We've got to improve. We've got to improve. Right, we're gonna make a change. Montez is absolutely blowing out of his ass. It's only way I'm gonna put it. Bring on Beck for Montez. Change Mendez and Beck around. I can't believe how. Our stamina is so low, but we have to make some changes because at the moment it's just not working. Not working whatsoever. Second half, here we go. And Sheffield not bring it forward again on the counter. We're looking one on this counter. Wilkes is on solid there. Lewis. He's put it through. Gale's in. James Gale. The foot. Only one thing that's going to happen there. James Gale, one on one. He's not going to miss. You hope you would have bloody miss. We've got our equaliser. Don't think we really deserve it. We have been the better team in the second half. But the ball through for Munoz. Sets up Gale. On his left foot. Finessed it. Keeper. Kind of dives out of the way. Got a hand to it though. Gets a hand to it. Was aiming for the far corner. Was never going to get there. But nevertheless. 1-1. Munoz. Beck. The Gale. Munoz. Munoz. Oh, what a save that was. I thought it was in. I thought it was going to nestle in. 12 to go. Do we need to make another change? Have a look quick before this corner. Gale. It's Munoz is blowing. With Munoz blowing, I'm going to bring on Clarkson as a cam and put Sanchez on for Gale because Gale is. Literally is blown. So much on defence. Shaw was in a good game. So is Dennis, but I'm going to bring on Blanco. Try some fresh legs in that back three. Stamina is oh, it's low, but we have just played. There we go then. Can these changes change the game? End this with the corner. We've got 12 to go. It's whipped in. It's Bess Sanchez. Oh, first touch of the ball and it heads it over the bar. Should have done better. Should have done better. Got free head to it as well. 1-1, one, one. it's been a great game. It's been a game of two halves, though. First half, we couldn't get out of our area, and Sheffield United were a better team. We're looking for a runner. Beck brings it forward. Oh, there's a good, good chance there. This is it. Clarkson. From the top, Sanchez! <gasps> What a save from Cooper! Oh, it was there to be won! Great ball from Clarkson to Sanchez. I thought he was going to nestle in the back bottom corner. Nevertheless, Morris to take this corner. Last chance. Gotta be. Clarkson! Oh! Before the bus stops. It does. Back to Morris. Crosses in. Sanchez! <gasps> a save by the keeper again, and it finishes 1 1. A fair result, to be fair. We didn't really do enough in the first half to deserve to get a win. Romero come up big for us. Gale with the equalizer halfway through the second half. A game of the, it was definitely a game of two halves. A 1 1. We'll take a point away at Sheffield United. This championship is difficult. It is hard. And we got overrun a couple of times. They played it so well, Sheffield United. They should have scored more than one, let's be honest. But Mera had a cracker. Points better than I think. So in all, a fair result. I do believe a one-all draw. Sheffield United had some great chances. Second half, we were the better team. Keeper made a blind and save in the 90th minute from Sanchez. It was a good good game. Good draw. If most of the seasons go like this, we could be in for a cracker season. 
uh there wasn't much between the teams today what did you make of the result so two vague players gave everything they did in all fairness second half they came out i had a word with my half times it like pull your finger out we can play better than this and we did Sheffield and I sat back a bit hard a bit more made it harder for us to score uh do you regret taking guard off no he was knackered he was absolutely shattered like most of our player montes came off at half time because he was shattered so one thing we have to work on is everyone's stamina and fitness and we got <laughs> bournemouth coming up soon as well unbelievable so that point means we have dropped out of the playoff position we're now on 17 points in seventh place Bournemouth, who we face next are top on 22 then come fulham burnley on 20 swansea preston and bristol city on 19 we're on 17 points same as norwich then come hull and huddersfield on 16 sunderland on 15 watford on 14 same as sheffield united they were, they were difficult to beat uh bolton on 13 birmingham on 13 qpr 13 millwall on 12 stoke on 12 luton 11 same as wigan and there's a bit of a gap commentary currently sitting in 21st place on six points cardiff on five points in the relegation zone blackburn on three and portsmouth are on two yet to pick up a win same as blackburn rovers what have we got coming up in the next couple of games We've got Bournemouth, Preston, and a week and a bit off, I think, of internationals. Then we've got Swansea, Birmingham, Watford, and at the end of the month, we finish with Not Enough Forest in the Cup. So, in the next episode, we will be facing Watford and Nottingham Forest. So, we've got four games in between now and then. Four hard games. Bournemouth, top of the league as well. Birmingham, we've already beaten, but it could be a different side from the league. Preston, we've beaten as well but that was a tough game and swansea they're up there they're up in the playoffs at the moment and it's gonna be difficult it's gonna be difficult thank you very much for watching today if you have enjoyed this episode please hit that like button i'm looking for 10 likes in this video will you be one of the lovely people to hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you haven't and ring the notification bell to be notified when a new video does go live apologies for the camera cutting out i didn't realize it cut out we're trying something new for, for this video if it works fantastic if it doesn't then so something i've got to look into but until next time guys take stay look after yourselves and i will see you all for the next one toodles